Yo, welcome to my first playthrough of the Dead Living Zombies expansion on Far Cry 5. I did the Hours of Darkness. Uh, I weren't really bothered about the Lost of Mars, so I'm not really into that sci fi stuff. Just that Vietnam shit was fucking awesome. And now the zombie one, so let's do it. And then once I've done this, I can finally move on to another game. I'm still finishing up Forza Horizon 4, which is a massive game. And then I can move on to something else. And this is supposed to be my, one of my first games on my Xbox One X. But obviously, if you've watched my Far Cry 5 playthrough, you'll see there's a video on the playlist, the very first video that tells you why. Because it kept crashing over and over again on the Xbox One X. It's a shame because it looks beautiful on it. But um, otherwise, Forza looks amazing. Forza Horizon 4 looks amazing on the Xbox One X. And then whatever I decide to play next, uh, I've got loads of games that are compatible with it. So awesome. Anyway, let's get this started. Dead Living Zombies. In a world where zombie movies were done to death, one man found a way to breathe life into the genre. He fucking pitched his ass off, baby. Far Cry 5 presents Guy Marvel's Dead Living Zombies. Guy Marvel's the guy who did the, um, a little movie in the Far Cry 5 campaign. Oh, sick. Check these out. It'd be good if there was no different types of zombies in each one, like demonic zombies, virus zombies, slow zombies, running zombies, but we'll see what we get. So this is the Fields of Terror. Okay, so it's, uh, is it a story or what? Let's see. It's good though, it's a good little expansion. Because I love Far Cry, uh, Far Cry's whole open world theme, you know, the outpost and all that shit. So any type of, uh, you know, different setting is awesome. The Vietnam one was one of my favourites. They could easily do a World War Two one, I don't know why they don't do that. A World War Two one, fucking, what else could they do? You know, World War Two Pacific, World War Two Europe. They've done Vietnam. They could do all sorts. Falklands War. But this zombies oh, is hey, awesome. I got a script for you. This thing is grade A pure gold. It's like Return of the Living Dead meets Bridges of Madison County. Only better. Close your eyes. Picture this. A top secret military aircraft carrying top secret cargo fucking explodes in midair after an engine malfunction. And the debris rains down over a secluded... I like the Night of the Living Dead. Uh, What's top secret cargo, you ask? Dead the remake, the 1990 remake. That's my favourite one with those zombies. It never really tells you what causes it. And then there's the Return of the Living Dead with the toxic barrel that falls off the Jeep. I'll check it out. But that's a bad idea because our super soldier zombies are ready for war. Oh, oh shit. Zombies are my fucking fail. This farmer is now the last line of defense to prevent a global blow. I couldn't tell if that was a black guy or a white guy. It sounded like a white guy, but it looked like a black guy. Run! I'll take care of this. Oh, what is this glowing yellow shit? Give me some blood. You know what I mean? I want some blood. It's the middle of middle America. Zombies on the doorstep. Our farmers got like mysterious containers to shoot up. Let's call them mutation stations. Mutation stations. Annihilate the mutant stations. Let's just have a look around. Right. Let's go. What the hell is this damn noise on my farm? And, uh, make it a clear night. The lens flares will look much You're my vehicle. Yeah, I love it. Your cinematic signature is going to be all over this. They could do a Walking Dead game. Ubisoft should. I mean, you know, outpost other people. Just put zombies in between each ones and uh, factions. They could easily do the Negan storyline. Let's see if we can melee kill these fuckheads. Oh, we can't. Oh, we didn't kill his ass. Yeah, I hate glowing zombies to shout this. I prefer real zombies. Some walking ones, some fast ones. A bit like World War Z game. And these mutation stations would have glass capsules 
filled with zombie making goo. I can just imagine our hero busting open that glass with some bullets. Ah! It's so fucking badass. I don't know why I didn't just use this in the first place. The shotgun's awesome. This is one of my favourite Far Cry's for sure. Where are these zombies coming from? Is that done? I want some scopes, man. Some more guns laying around. We got some AK. Oh good, we can carry three weapons, sick. Our hero gets to the shed and has to deal with more zombies. Mm, we need a set piece here. It's not a shed, it's where they store gas. Yeah, that is the kind of mainstreamness that this idea needs. Is that one close? I like this film pitch thing, it's pretty cool, it's different. Oh hell yeah, can we drive that? Amazing. Anything up there? I don't know. Let's mow some fuckers down. Let's do it. Yo, bitch. You get a zombie! You get a zombie! Everybody get zombies! Where are all the fucking zombies so from range. behind us? <gasps> What's that? It's a zombie with its skull opened, brain exposed, and it's leaking toxic. Just turn him around. Hmm, that's gross. <laughs> you want me to explain what happens when our hero headshots him? <laughs> nah, I'm good. When you toxic you fuck. Oh shit. Yeah, that sound. Come on, you fuckers. Motherfucker's got an axe. Oh fuck, there's another load of them. Hey, 
Apart for that. Off to the next one. No throwable uh, items. In the woods, the mysterious coup is making dead dogs come back to life. Oh, for no. fuck's sake. Audiences will not like the idea of dead dogs. Did I say dead dogs? I mean, I mean like zombie wolves. Shit. Where'd you come from? So we just survived that. So there's some ammo over there. Just get that before I head down to the next one. I want a scope. Him, and then our hero finds a super shotgun. I think of the boomstick from Army of Darkness, but like with more boom. Fuck yeah. Got our own boomstick. Maybe I should go to all these other little flags because they could be special weapons. Be a sniper up here. There's a water tower. Our hero could get to the high ground. What's there? Nothing. It'll symbolize like climbing social ladders and, and the hollowness of the American oh, dream. Oh, fucking asshole. Mm. We're talking about a blockbuster, not some artistic little indie. We need serious firepower up there. Oh hell yeah. Beautiful, sexy Edda. Climbing up the ladder. It would be funny. Anyway, let's get down. Come on, bitch. Come on, how many rounds? case.
Fuck yeah. It's not extraterrestrials. It took a while, no, but no, I did it. You did similar stuff in that TV show, but imagine it was done better. I won awards for that show. And you lost a bunch. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna pass. Your idea was pretty basic. I'm the one responsible for the pizzazz. <laughs> Come on! You put the pizzazz in spaz, you motherfucker. The pitch is fucking done. Now unlock for this pitch. Score attack. So I guess I'll try score attack next. But uh, for now, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the episode. Fields of Terror. If not, go fuck yourself. Otherwise, see you in my next video.